Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Two Cent with my Two Cents on Echoes of Mana. Uh, today I actually have a video here for you on tier lists, but for armor, not for units. I still think units are going to be really hard to kind of define which ones are the better ones right now. Uh, we just have such a small pool of units and it's kind of like you're playing who you get, you know, either the most copies of or who you're the most comfortable playing or just plain enjoy using. But I do think there is some um, some questions that I've seen from the community on where should you be farming for gear, what gear is best for this unit and that unit. And so I'm going to have a little mini series here on, on gear. And I'm going to actually end up doing three tier lists of little shorter videos. That way if you're looking for something specific, you can just go to that video and look for it. And this first one is going to be a tier list showcasing for DPS units or your damage units. Uh, these are units that are primarily going to be used as your main beat em up unit. You know, uh, we have DPS, we have support, we have healer. Uh, sometimes you can throw healer into support, which is what I'm going to do. And then I'm actually going to keep tanks separate. So, right now in this video, we're going to be talking about just your damage units uh, Reese, Chrism Wizard, things like that. So, let's get into it. Uh, here, so we're the first thing we're going to look at here is uh, the uh, hemp set. Uh, this is the earth damage set. Obviously, if your unit is earth and it's a DPS unit, I think that this set is currently the best set to, to farm for those units. Uh, if you're building a uh, you know like a DPS Duran, I think this is his best set right now. I will link some of the damage calculators, uh, you know, the people who are the real smart math guys, I will link some of their stuff from Reddit uh, down below. You can go peruse that, but from all of uh, the things that I've seen, the testing I've seen, is that the elemental sets do come out ahead for the majority of units that have been fully built up. Uh, and not quite, you know, what I mean by, un like, plus six unleashed level 100, but just like up their units that you're, you've completed the mana board and the max level as much as you can, uh, you know, with maybe one or two dupes or something like that. We're seeing that once you get a full set of five star gear with the stats that come on those, the substats, that, you know, particular ones that you might be looking for, which on your, uh, your DPS units, you're going to be looking for a healthy amount of uh, your main stat, whether that be strength or intellect, or maybe both if you're a hybrid. Uh, and then some luck to go with it. Uh, you, uh, my kind of rule of thumb on luck is, they can say that 10% uh, luck equals 1% crit. Well, that if crit's 100% extra damage, I am so used to things like Genshin Impact that I do this two for one method. Okay, if I have 100% damage, then my crit should be uh, chance should be about half of that, so 500 luck. There are calculators out there that said, okay, for where you're at specifically with your exact numbers, this is where you should be with your luck. And I think those, uh, obviously those people have done the, uh, the math and their math is probably point on. But I'm going to say that is too cumbersome for me to worry about. And I'm just going to say I'm striving on my DPS unit to get around that 500 luck mark, you know, I might be happy somewhere between uh, the, you know, 425 and 500. But, you know, once I hit over 500, I really don't, I want to shy away from getting any more luck. That's my opinion. You can go in and test it on, on, on your own or look at these other things if you want to min-max just that little bit more. But for me, that's enough. All right. Back to our tier list here. Uh, since we're going to put the earth damage one up there, we're also going to slide over here and just grab the wind damage and put it up here. Uh, obviously, these are still niche sets. Uh, you're not going to put the wind damage or the earth damage on any units that aren't those element types. And so uh, I have them up here in the S rank, but really, uh, as we're going down the road here, we kind of want to look at it like these are very niche in their, in their uh, uh, usage because of that. So let's move on. We have the uh, spirit set. So what I'm looking at here is I do think that uh, defenses are very, you know, useful in this game to hit kind of, you know, check marks on the kind of damage that bosses are putting out towards us. Uh, however, right now I think stacking con has been a little bit more beneficial than spirit but that does not mean that's going to last any longer and then till the next event you know uh, we could definitely get some uh, bosses that are just smashing us for not having enough spirit 
And uh, I definitely think that as the game progresses, we're going to see more of that. I think right now things have been a little more con heavy, and that's why they're providing us with units that are all like sword users that can boost their con. Uh, and things of that nature. So I, I do think this is going to be useful, but as for right now, I'm just going to slide it into this B category uh, until we see some more sort of usefulness for that. And a lot of people on their DPS units, we're going to be playing like a glass cannon -y sort of a, a character a yeah, good majority of the time. Not all the time, not every character is going to be like that. Uh, especially some of these sword users, they are still bulky and you're going to want to like add to that. But a lot of those bulky units are going to be based off of con and not spirit right now. So uh, I'm going to slide that into B and I'm actually like pretty f far down in B if we end up putting anything more in there uh, just because of the nature of where the game is right now. Now let's move on to the Maple set. This is our intelligence increasing set, and this is an easy A. Uh, obviously, if you're not using a Earth or Wind unit, and you're using some, a DPS that scales off of intellect, bam, you're going to go get this Maple set, and you're going to put that on. Uh, obviously, this is on the right side of the gear. That's why you have the necklace, the ring, and the boots. And so you're still going to need to put something else on the left side, and we will get to that. This is definitely, on the right side, the best uh, set. All right, um, let's see. The next one here, this is our con set. And this is what I, what I was telling you about. Everything seems to be, you know, being based off of con with the amount of sword users and the, uh, the boss damage types right now. Uh, I'm going to put it up here in A. It's a left side of the gear set. I think this is one of the best ones to put on anything that's not Earth or Wind right now. Uh, but that's partially because there's really not that many options for the left side unless you're running Earth or Wind. You really have to choose between Con uh, and Strength. So obviously if you're using an Intellect character, you're going to put these two together, this Maple and this uh, Minnow set. My pronunciation's probably going to be wrong on some of these. Please forgive me. All right, let's uh, keep working on here. we got four more to go. We have the uh, Holly set here next, right? This is our HP set, and I would normally rate this one uh, up into the uh, uh, to the A category, except that we're not able to actually farm this one uh, in five stars. Those will be unlocked later as more story progresses, but right now, very hard. Chapter five uh, is the only one that's uh, uh, dropping five stars, and it's exclusively the Oak set. Okay, so this is our HP increasing set. It's a good one. I think it's a good all-around one to have. Uh, you're going to hit some uh, checks where things are just going to do, you know, a considerable amount of damage, and having enough HP to allow your healers with that new AI to have time to react to heal you is very important. And I'm actually going to put it, like I said, just above this spirit set for now. All right, the next one here. This is the Oak set. This is the one that we can farm at five stars. We get those extra levels, so you get a little bit more of that main stat that you're using, and you get uh, uh, an extra, uh, you know, kind of plug into your sub stats. However, the set bonus on this is 20 flat MP. And I'll tell you what, there's hardly any skill, especially unless you have something unleashed, you know, unit unleashed uh, quite a bit, that is going to cost 20. And so, I, in you know, from the congenital consensus I've seen from everybody else, this set is eventually just going to be trash. We are going to get rid of this. Uh, I, I, sure that this may, uh, this one was the five star one to be able to farm right now, just so we'd have to turn around and farm the next one when it came out. <laughs> in all honesty, so I, I have a hard time, uh, especially on a DPS character, seeing really a need to have this as a set, um, except the fact that you're. You're already farming very hard stage, uh, you know, you know, chapter five anyway, and so you're getting some of it. I know most of my characters are currently running this set, but it's slowly being replaced as I have more blue energy to use for uh, other sets like the uh, the ivory and the maple. And definitely, as the next story comes out here in a couple weeks, we'll be farming either for the holly set or the cotton set. And here we are on. The uh, the cotton set here should be the next one, and I just want to double check.
Yes. Okay. So we have our uh, cotton set here. Now, this set is going to be on the left side, whereas the uh, the holly set was on the right side that gave HP. The cotton set's on the left side of your armor uh, armors that gives HP as well. Uh, I definitely want to go ahead and put this up here right there I think uh, like I said I think the HP is really good for your units this gives you an option of being able to have one on the left side or one on the right side and so then you can kind of utilize whichever other set you think best fits with your character other than that um, as for a DPS unit I really don't think you're going to be running uh, the HP or the Spirit or maybe even the Con, but I think they're great extra options if your some stats are, you know, pretty good compared to the substats on maybe your DPS one or you don't have uh, an option for some of those other ones. I think we're going to be running some of these, uh, maybe even to add just a little bit extra bulk if you have a more squishy DPS unit. But as it is for now, I think we're going to place that one in B set. And we're on to the last one here. The last one here is the Valsina set. This is the strength uh, percentage increase set. And I, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and slide it up here next to uh, the Minnow set and the Intellect set. This is on the left side, so that's super great. And uh, I definitely think that you know if you don't have an earth wind, uh, earth or wind unit and you're running a physical damage unit, obviously this is a no-brainer. You're going to throw the strength set on. Uh, I definitely th uh, want to just kind of look at this and say, okay, we only have nine options right now if you're looking at this. And that isn't a whole lot uh, when you take into consideration that two of those are also can only be farmed at four stars right now rather than the, uh, the five stars. So... I'm really hoping that they do unlock more. I'm guessing that we're going to get one of every elemental damage set at some point. So be prepared for that. That if you are working on a unit that is not earth or wind right now, it might be best to maybe kind of sh look at what the right side of gears are and kind of farm those and just get a decent sort of set on the left and don't worry about min maxing it too much until you kind of get uh, one of those sets that are going to be able to get on that character for the elemental damage. So your, you know, Angela mains out there, your wiz, uh, wizard mains out there, like you might want to just worry about the right side, grab yourself some of that, uh, those maple sets, and just work on that, and just get you a working set for the left side of maybe the minnows for some con, or, or something for the meanwhile. All right. That has been my two cents on the DPS tier list. Uh, I will be back at you guys here soon with the support and for the tanks. Thank you.